Hello and welcome everybody back to our finals here at ProQuest Season 3 with Fab Foundry. I am joined by Mitchell. Hey everybody, I'm glad to be here. This is my first time on the Fab Foundry videos. It's going to be a great time today. I look forward to it. Yes, it is going to be a great time today and a great game with that. We have Nathan here on the left, piloting Reinar, Reckless Rampage, and Thaminda on the right, piloting Briar, Warden of Thorns. It's been an interesting matchup. We uh, we don't really see, you know, Reinar around too much these days, uh, and and Briar, you know, she's getting close to living legend. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to be seeing this matchup, you know, much more in the future. So it's awesome to get to see this. The commentary for this is actually being recorded post uh, ProQuest Season 3, so we are actually in the bands that have been announced for everything now. And what I have heard is Briar is about 56 points away from her Living Legend status at this rate. Yeah, very close. A lot of people were thinking that she was going to reach Living Legend status during PQ Season 3. Didn't quite happen. She didn't have you know the, the greatest of showings. There were some great pilots out there who brought her to victory. Today we're going to see if uh, Thaminda's one of those lucky few. We've got uh, Thaminda starting off the game here. Got their tunic counter going. Coming down with an exude confidence. Ooh, big, big card. What do we see from Nathan? And this is a card you want to throw a few more blocks at if you have the chance. It has uh, the ability to get a good pump oh. on it. Yep. we oh. got Sand Sketch and Alpha Rampage making sure that... You know, can one get pump, some... two pumps. Team All right, ranks. exuded coming in for eight, still being blocked by a card with nine. So we could see, and oh, we see wow. it. The defense react. Hell yeah, it's reckless, reckless so swing. Got two points of damage already in. Yeah, swing big, getting discarded here. My goodness, Nathan off to a strong start. And with that strong start, let's take a quick look at their equipment. We got a. Crown of Providence, Heart and Cross Strap, Gambler's Gloves, and Scab Skins on Nathan's side. Oh, and Nathan just coming in strong with a Blood Rush. What is it? What is Thaminda got over here for armor? We got Crown of Providence, Grasp the Arc Knight, Fendals, and a Snapdragon Scalers. All right, well, we got discarded. Oh, C and C got discarded there off the Blood Rush. Yeah. Oh, the card Thaminda wanted to block with. Obviously, it always is. <laughs> Still got two float for Nathan. I'm going to use it to swing in a claw for five go again. A pretty run-of-the-mill uh, way to run the uh, the Blood Rush Bellow turns here. You play the Blood Rush, get the uh, go again, oh, swing five. Block. block for three. With a, This round is on me from Thaminda going to 36. Nathan coming in with Big another five. claw for five go again. Thaminda, no... No, no thinking about it. Just take the five. Oh my god. We saw heart, heart and cross trap got blown up. Oh. What? Savage Feast? Oh, dang. Coming Nathan. in for eight? Oh my god. So we're going to another intimidate trigger. Yeah. He's going to draw a card. Oh my god, Nathan's Nathan. securing that arsenal. That's insane. This is turn one for Nathan, everybody. What does Thaminda think about that? I would hate it. Yeah. Looks like they're pointing at, yeah, that's the you know, yeah. the... You see that card? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like what that just did to me. <laughs> oh, what? Do we? What are we gonna do? I, I'm gonna. Got a lot oof. of thought going on here. Yeah. And if that card doesn't block three, I don't know if I would want to block with it. And even if it did, man, I don't know if that's the. True. Oh, yeah. True. Take an eight. Yeah. Oh, that's rough. Man. Still good, keeping those blocks back. No need to use up the crown or the grasps here just yet. A little early in the game to get that armor out there. Tunic up to two. Let's see. Well, we got a little peek at Nathan's hand. He's got. Don't. I don't even try to look at Nathan's <laughs> hand anymore. He goes so fast <laughs> with it. Just the, like the moment I think I see something, it's like, oh nope, it's gone. Nope. Oh, there we go. We got a bramble spark red fused with a blue so tomorrow. Ooh. Given that plus three and one arcane. So tomorrow, a card often used for fusion, not often played. I wonder what the Talishar uh, statistics would be for So tomorrow. How often do you actually play this card, if ever? <laughs> <laughs> do they have a fusion 
statistic on there? The uh, no, yeah. just for no. the so tomorrow itself. Oh, okay. Oh, see, in the exactly. <laughs> I was gonna say it might <laughs> be the most pitched card most used to fuse. Oh, look at that. Nice scar for scar from Arsenal. No wonder why Thamenda was okay with taking so much damage. They he's gonna beat my face in. Ensure that go again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and we do... Okay, I was even wondering. We did see the grass get activated there uh, with the uh, the, so, the so tomorrow pitch, but yeah. no rune chant was made. It seems like both players... Thank you, editors. Uh, both players did forget that trigger. Yeah. And with that arcane coming through, though, from the Bramble Spark, it got the... Uh, <laughs> why am I blanking on this earth... Uh, embodiment of Earth. Embodiment. Of Earth. <laughs> I wanted to just say Earth Aura, but I knew that was wrong. But... Ooh, Nathan's really excited about this one. <clears throat> the Minda yeah. hasn't even oh, drawn wow. their hand, and we see the <laughs> CNC hit the board. Uh, he is ready to go. So we could see. We could see. I think one of two things here. We either see the crown come out, bottom to bottom, get a five card hand, or we can see uh, an armor block and maybe a block yeah. with for three. Oh, oh, look at that. Yep. Okay. Right as yep. you talk about it. Force of nature. Force of nature blocking for four because of that embodiment of Earth. Yep. And most of their uh, non-attacks uh, that they're even going to think about blocking with are going to block for three. So that just gives them... It's basically a sink below for for nothing. Thaminda coming in. Looking at that card from Arsenal. Red Nimbleism. Give him plus three. Into an E-Strike. Very nice. All right. So... Bottoming the card, we are putting down an eight. Seeing no card draw, I'm going to assume that's go again. Yep. We got a good old eight go again. Plus three from the Nimbies and uh, five base from the E-Strike itself. High roller. Whoever blocks with high roller. Yeah, what? A, what <laughs> Why would you think? do that? Oh, all right. It's a free intimidate. <laughs> Blocking with a fate for seeing red. So we're blocking for a total of seven here. Nathan taking one, going to 33. We got that embodiment of Earth coming up. The Minda, nice. Taking advantage of that tuna counter. Swinging Rosetta Thorn for two and two. Nathan having to take that arcane. And electing to take the physical as well, going to 29. The Minda arsenaling the last card in hand. I also do just love when... Uh... Uh, the players take up their tuna counter every turn and are also using it on the turn it gets ticked to three because we as commentators can actually see yeah. the oh what turn is it oh <laughs> it's, uh, okay we're going to the third turn here for nathan and we got a yellow reincarnation coming in and normally this matchup is scary for nathan uh, against a Briar, because Briar is able to do split damage, is able to come up with these like really tall turns that are also just turning on like extra defense for them. Oh. Ooh, taking but, six, yeah. taking six. Wow. But the what what we're seeing Nathan do here is exactly what you want to see Reinar doing into a matchup like this. Uh, Briar actually, I feel, being one of the worst matchups that Reinar is actually going to be seeing. All right, what do we have in retaliation from Thaminda here? Just, you know, taking the full six damage, keeping, full grip. The, keeping the full grip. Turn four, we are already sub-20 as well. Not exactly where we want to be, but if we can start, if we see a channel mount here, maybe this turn, maybe next turn, we're able to still push some damage, keep building up those embodiments. Uh, Thaminda's still got a lot of race left in him. Those legs are still pumping. All right, we got a red earth lore surge coming in, giving plus five to the next attack. Ooh. Ew, wow. Into a lightning surge from Arsenal. Coming in for nine go again. Let's see what Nathan has to say about this. You know what? I bet he has a lot to say, because I saw two sink blows in hand. Yeah. <laughs> Choosing to sink off that first one. It, it is it is just like just that level of unfortunate for Nathan. Uh, oh, for just knock the deck down right there. That he's drawing these these cards in, in these in these ways that he can't actually. <laughs> he's the second one. <laughs> he can't get perfect blocks. He keeps blocking like right one under. Uh, they're able to build embodiment off that, which is not the end of the world. But with just that constant extra value to defenses, 
Uh, if Nathan would, I would assume if Nathan had their way, they yeah. would also be stopping that. Yeah, and there it is, like you just said. Snuck one over, got that embodiment. Ravel into revealing Ravel. Oof. That is probably something Nathan doesn't want to see. Nathan taking the four. And we see a resource floating, card left in hand. I'm going to assume we see Rosetta here. Yeah. I can't think of many other... Unless we see another go again. Uh, card in hand. Wish we might. It could be uh, the or... third rabble. <laughs> the third rabble revealing the rabble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he might. Uh, are we Thanks going for it? it. Oh, we're doing it? I'm excited. Oh, do it. Yeah. Oh, red snatch. Red snatch. Interesting. No one that he's got. No cards in hand. Full armor. Full armor. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Block it out. We're going to see snappies here. We got them into thinking about it. I think the onus is still on Nathan. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yep. They were waiting for the, the crown. Okay. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Two and two. Nathan now, going down to 20. Now, that may not have been. That probably wouldn't have been how I approached that turn. But we do got a uh, There's a lot more that the Minda can do right here. When we're sending breakpoints now, we can almost all but guarantee after, in, until at least until that Scabskins is used, that we can be getting those embodiments of Earth flowing. So Riled up yellow coming in for six. <clears throat> the Minda does have that embodiment of Earth. So. Uh, but no Arsenal card. Yeah. And this is and this is when like true tempo starts to show in these matchups because we have six coming in on one end. Nathan's gonna get an arsenal. We have the Minda who's currently on the block, and if they're not able to actually like come back with any real thing, ooh, block, block by three, e strike. This is when the 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 shift in the tide will become very evident. All right, Thamanda, what do you got? We got red nimbleism from hand. Let's Give go. Plus three. We got there. Oh. There's that rabble oh. that we saw. Oh, and channel map heroic on the top. That's nice. huge. That's probably like what Thamanda's like. Thank God, finally. <laughs> <laughs> if I was gonna see one at all, it better be now. Double block from Nathan. This is this is pretty pretty nasty though, because if they want to go for that Rosetta Thorn swing, they're gonna have to get rid of that card in hand, which is not which is gonna leave them without an arsenal. Oh, and which they, they are electing to do yeah. so. And then the channel mount just gets so hectic right here, because you need a blue earth card, you need multiple attacks to like really make this something. So if I'm Nathan, like yeah, I'm worried channel mounts there, but there's so many mitigating circumstances that the Briar could just do to themselves before that even hits the field. Oh. Nathan just having very consistent, just big attacks, being able to hold two cards in hand, swing in, uh, smash instinct, intimidating a card. I believe that's the yellow one coming in for six. Well, I think we're at a point now where everyone really has come to realize with the math of this game that like value decks can and will a lot of the time reign supreme like over the course yeah. of these long games. Because it's like... I, I can as equally not take damage and then also be dealing that same damage to you. But then the onus comes onto you that if could your game plan actually allow you to block here? Or are you, are you just going to keep leaking damage while I just kind of, you know? Well, so Nathan did just intimidate the one card that he probably wanted to block. Yeah, with. like always. Yeah, as always. <laughs> <laughs> the Reinar special. Oh, seeing another block again with this round is on me, blocking for four because of the embodiment of Earth. Only taking two, going down to 12 for Thaminda, Nathan at 15. Ooh, and everyone, we're on second tunic activation here, turn six. Okay. Red Bramble, fuse with Channel Mount Heroic into a snatch for one arcane and seven on hit draw. All right. Getting the embodiment of Earth. Really, I, I, has he missed a turn with the embodiment of Earth yet this game? I, I don't think he has. I mean, that's a Briar's wet dream right there, I yeah. feel. Always getting the embodiment. Uh, so we got seven. Yeah, that is a red snatch. Seven along with that block. Block for three. three. Into a block battle you got. three. Take a damage. 
We see card draw here. Nathan, yeah, just thinking oh, you're going to no. Oh, okay. We're excite bike, everyone. Uh, we <laughs> knew that was going in Arsenal. No yeah. need to even think about it. Nathan, oh. double sigil. <laughs> oh, my god. He's healing for six. All right. You know, I'm pretty sure at the end of there, was like, all right, <laughs> we got we got a good life lead. I got channel and arsenal. Uh, we can block with some armor here. And it's like, oh, no. Oh, you're just going to heal six? All right. Did we get the earth blue to pay for that channel, that heroic? Oh, uh, isn't that always what it comes down to? There is too much thinking. I don't think we did. No. It, <laughs> like, if I come out so fast. Yeah. <laughs> when you were playing Oonga Boonga Bra Reinar, it's like just, just, and Briar's on the other end, it's just like, yeah, here's my mountain. Another red bramble. No fuse this time. No fuse, not even an earth card. Into oh, a no. rabble, revealing exude confidence off the top. So we got one arcane and four go again. Buddy, that's rough. Got the embodiment off of the arcane. What a great turn for Nathan cool. to have double sigil. Nathan. Sink below. Three sink blows down. And Dude. we saw the fate for scene earlier. So Nathan likely still has two defense reactions left. Because with his last turn we just saw, like, oh. I, I, I got to assume that if, can't crackle red. if Nathan did get attacked by, or if Nathan did attack the Minda, the Minda would have been throwing that crown of providence out. Oh, yeah. Trying to, like, search for anything at this point. Nathan taking that all, going down to 14. Ooh, imagine though. Oh, but you would have drawn that exude confidence because you would have done something from hand because you want because you you'd, you'd want to take that greedy turn. You would have had that bramble <laughs> into ravenous. Oh, Nathan, come on. Oh, in. dude, another blood rush turn. How did wait? That was a blood rush he put into arsenal. That is insane. We're discarding pack hunt. Pack hunt. So there we go. It's good. Intimidate. The we guardian wants to block float. with. Yep. Embodiment means nothing when I take away your <laughs> three blocks. <laughs> Claw for five go again. Coming in. Oof. Get three cards in hand yeah. still. This could this could easily be an, an eighteen damage turn from Nathan here. I'm trying to think Double of all the block. cards we haven't seen from Nathan yet. So uh, that blocked out the first one. We got another claw for five. Two cards left. Pitching a beast within. Okay, since we see a beast within get pitched, I'm assuming he has another card he can play, if at all. Because a beast within you yeah. actually could play. Oh, oh my god, it's swing <laughs> big. Oh, brother. Wow. Oh, jeez, no. a 20 damage turn. Nice. Hey. Oh, man. Remember, though, Briar could block this out and get a quicken token. Which no, never mind. We mm -hmm. only got, we have four armor on our on our blocks here. Five armor. One, right? No, he's got a. He's is he got, blocked with? He's grasp. blocked with the grasp. Oh yeah, you're right. Ooh, the wow. grasp was for the uh, second CNC that yeah. we saw. Blocking with tunic, even though it had counter on it. Going to one. Didn't want to. Didn't want to block with that card in hand. I don't know what. What if they couldn't? What if that's like Gorg Tome or something? Oh, that would that'd be rough. Yeah, oh. the channel mount heroic. Oh, because they wanted to be able to actually swing an attack with channel mount heroic. We got a red snatch coming in for it, seven. It was probably the snatch, because it's like it's one thing to not be able to play the channel mount. It's another yeah. thing to be able to play channel mount with no attack. Yeah, Nathan doing full block using the last bit of armor with his scabbies. What is he? He got two in hand, right? Pitching, swinging in with a pack hunt. Pack hunt. Looks like a red one. Yeah, that's red. Yeah. I don't think they'd run the other colors. They'd run yellow? I thought Nathan ran yellow. Yellow pack? Uh, no, he, he runs blue, I think. Blue? And there oh. was an iteration. Yeah, because it's a blue pitch, but it's also a four that intimidates. So it's like an end game. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where, okay. You're, where you're trying to just like roll scabs. Uh, swing at least like two times a turn, just le either leak cards out of their hand, and it's like you get a three on that, you're like claw claw pack hunt or something. Yeah, that makes sense. I was getting it confused with riled up. They run yellow riled up, like we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. But Feminda taking their time, really planning out, making sure that they get the best possible block. Yeah, block six. If I was a betting man, 
if I was. Block and six. Uh, you know, I would I would take the bet that this ends on a reckless swing, but we could just see something else crazier. Because, I mean, Thaminda at one. We already saw a reckless swing get played this game. One arcane, two fizzies coming at him. Yeah. Pitching. Tome of Harvest. Yeah, Tome of Harvest, a not so great card when one does not have an arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> also, only one of two cards in the entire game that has the text draw three cards on it. Only it and three of a kind. I I actually did not know that. Yep. I <laughs> Tied for the most cards it allows you to, at least printed on the card, allows you to draw. You know, if we're thinking back to uh, that crazy Viscerai deck with Bloodsheath, you know, Sonata could draw you like eight cards. All right, Nathan took the damage coming in with a full grip. Ooh. Wow, Scabs gets the four, gets two action points. Smash Instinct. Yellow, I believe. Yep, coming in. Getting the intimidate. Six. So we're at a point. Even if Nathan, six. if Nathan doesn't have another attack in hand, it is fully on Briar right now to have all three blocks at hand because we need to block six right here, and then we need to block three on a claw. Yeah. But honestly, I'm going to assume Nathan is just going to be able to attack with six again. I mean, he he really has set this. What deck if we up see blue pack well. hunt? But blue pack. <laughs> <laughs> He has set this deck up well to be able to to finish games off. Nathan's put a lot of work into this deck. Yeah. Hey, and yeah, and nothing to take away from Nathan whatsoever. But we did we saw Nathan pretty much get exactly what they wanted to see. <laughs> there and, and there's a pack of them, but red. <laughs> hey, right, good, great games, everybody. That was a uh, good showing on Nathan. Thaminda, I'm sorry the uh, the channel mounts had to show up so late, and in such awkward hands. That was hard to watch. Yeah. Uh, but great, go great job, great players. Uh, yeah, great showing. Nathan has won his second pro quest with this win. So, yeah, Team Foundry all the way. Yeah, it was a great game to watch, great game to commentate on, and we'll see you in the next video. Yep, everyone take care now.